District 2 Council Member Sean Lalowey has recently come under fire for some very questionable actions. First, employment exploitation. Judge tosses Sacramento Councilman-elect Sean Lalowey's slander lawsuit against labor organizer who alleged worker abuse at his grocery store. A lawsuit filed in 2018 against him by several employees asked for class action. The lawsuit claims violations of overpay, rest breaks, and meal penalties. Then, unsavory business decisions. This week, Lilloe threw his support behind a developer proposing 147 market rate single family homes. It's barely a mile from one of Lilloe's grocery stores and is in a more well off portion of his district, costing between roughly $500,000 and $600,000. And being completely out of touch with his district. Because we're only talking about the Proud Boys Antifa's. Looking at both videos, both organizations are despicable, they're disgusting, they are against Sacramento without a doubt. Do we need a police reform? 100%. Uh, but do I stand here and, and, and make a statement that the department is racist or there's a systemic issue? It's just not fair. It's really not fair to, to the, the man and woman in blue. Within any organization, there, there are those few bad apples. Again, I'm an immigrant. I was not born here. I come from a country that just five years ago, there is a peaceful protest. And I, when I tell you peaceful, extremely peaceful. And that night, 4,500 people were gone down by the police. So the engagement that we've done the calls that are coming on are been pretty much the activists and the advocates. Um, neither one of those two, two entities' um, opinion should really hold that much water. Presented, but I would say that um, people who are passionate on either side of the issue uh, generally are also residents of our city. They live in the different council districts. Um, yeah, as much as I, I'm not a big fan of uh, affordable housing, this, this is a slam dunk.